what did you make of the debate last night, Mary Catherine? You're actually uh, sane. Look, I, I actually enjoyed the debate. There were plenty of moments where I was, I thought it was refreshing that we were talking about policy, uh, that people were sort of getting into some real divisions in the GOP on issues like Ukraine. Uh, I actually enjoyed the conversation about abortion uh, that just sort of like balanced the idea of federalism with more morality and that had this had this dispute. I also enjoyed that we went 51 minutes before we talked about indictment news or Trump. And that was nice for me. Now, in the end, I don't think the ball moved very much because no one really made a giant splash. And you I mean, I guess Vivek Ramaswamy, but in the wrong way, probably. Uh, but you have to make a giant splash. You really have to stand out if you've got a 30 point gap. And that's the issue. So let's, but let's talk about that last the point, debate. Vivek. Uh, it's the Vivek debate. All right. It's the first debate. Ron DeSantis has, you know, football. Ron DeSantis has a series of downs called for the first debate. He executed. He got a first down. That's all he wanted to do was come out, got a first down. Vivek has got a little bit of momentum and he walks out there. But I actually think, did you see the movie Gladiator 800 times like every other person your age? I did. Yes. Okay, so at the end, what does the bad guy do to the to the gladiator? He gives him the thumbs down. <laughs> no, he puts the knife in his stomach and nobody sees uh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, here's that moment. Can we play cut number... <laughs> da, 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 you know, uh, cut number 28. This is the moment. You know, Nick, I sure. wish you well in your future career on the boards of Lockheed and Raytheon. You know, I'm not on but the, the fact of the matter, and and you know, Boeing you have came off of it, but you've been pushing this lie. This you've been pushing this lie want, all week, Nikki. You want Nikki. to go and defund Israel? This, you want to okay, let me address that. China? I'm glad you brought you that up. Go and give you I'm going to address Russia? each of those right now. You this is the false lies of a professional politician. There you have it. So the reality is, let's say you have no foreign policy experience, and it shows. And you know what? Do not make mom mad. All right, that's it. Do not make a military mom spouse whose husband is deployed mad for the third time. Yeah. That is the moment of the debate. And I think that's going to be the one that makes it into any account of campaign 2024. Yeah, no, I think that was huge. And the moment she said it, especially, and it shows, and she repeated it twice, it was she took her moment. That is her bread and butter. She understands these issues. She showed she understands these issues. And she's just calling out this guy who really is not is out of his depth on this. I thought another, to me, another defining moment was in, and it was in the first half of the debate, which is good for Ron DeSantis, because that's when most people are watching. Uh, when he short circuited a hand raising question about climate change, uh, that was great. Uh, he was very assertive. Uh, he basically said, look, we are we are the GOP. We can talk about the intricacies and the trade-offs of energy. We don't have to believe this like a religion. That's what that felt like to me. And I enjoyed the conversation that we had after that. And he, he went, as he did with every answer, to exactly what he has done on the ground, a record dealing with disasters in the state of Florida. I did it. Look at this. And that was that he was relentless in that. And that was what he needed to do to some extent. Yeah. You know, um, you're a football person. Uh, the Browns have Nick Chubb, greatest running back in the NFL. And the Browns mm -hmm. fans are always saying, run the ball. All right. That's all they ever say on Twitter during a Browns game is run the ball. Give the ball to Chubb. Give the ball to Chubb. When DeSantis got the ball, he went off tackle through the gap every time. It was just exactly what he needed to do. Now, we got a lot of talking heads out there talking about how he didn't you know, win the night because Vivek got the most attention. I'm just not with that, Mary Catherine. I think Ron DeSantis did exactly what he wanted to do, as did Mike Pence, as did Nikki Haley. Uh, Vivek did not do what he wanted to do. He kept it, the people who were in love with him in love with him. But did he add anyone new? Fetching Mrs. Hewitt. Not not dumb about politics, not obsessed with it like me. Says, boy, he's awfully cute. And I think that is actually kind of what a lot of people said. Oh, he's awfully cute. But you know what? Cute. You don't want cute on 9-11, do you? No. And yeah, and he's too cute by half pretty often, uh, which is the the problem with him. No, I, I look, attention matters in the in this uh, sort of attention economy and in this in this uh race. Uh, but it also doesn't matter that much if ultimately you're not going to prosecute a case against Trump, who is the front runner. And he's not doing that. He called him the best president of the 21st century. It's like, why are you running against him?
That would be my question <laughs> for you. Uh, but DeSantis did draw distinctions and it did, you know, it was, it was interesting and weird to see no one except for Christie go really hard on Trump uh, in his absence. Uh, but it was nice to hear about results. It was nice to hear about policy. It was nice to hear about things that people did. And uh, DeSantis really concentrated on that. And I think, he, I think he did himself so good. The question is, the gap is so large. How do you pull people uh, to you in big enough numbers? And I'm not sure last night did it. Let me play for you. Gatlin gun Chris Christie was loaded. All right. And he went off. And so let's play a couple of Chris Christie clips for you. Cut number 11. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. And the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, what's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama. And I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur standing on stage tonight. Oh, oh. All right, let's go to cut number 18. I'll go back to Hammer after that. Cut 18. Behavior and illegal by the way, behavior, Chris, and you as a the prosecutor way, should know yeah, better. Yeah, I, you know what? I know a lot There's better. There's a difference between I bad know, behavior. And I know a lot better than you do. You've never done it like you've never done anything to try to advance the interests of this government except to put yourself forward as a candidate tonight. And here's the thing. We've stood up for law and order. I did it as U.S. attorney. I did it as governor. And I am not going to bow to anyone when we have a president of the United States who disrespects the Constitution. Okay, so I think Chris Christie came with a plan. It had take out Vivek on his card. Mm -hmm. Everyone was expecting that he was going to go after Donald Trump. He did a little bit. Not one word about DeSantis. He went after Vivek last night because Vivek is the guy who he's fighting in New Hampshire where Chris Christie intends to come through. Now, if I were a network, I would sign Chris Christie for a Sunday night, uh, a nighttime primetime show. He's, he's clearly the best at this thing. Do you agree with me yes. on that? Uh, totally so, agree. Yeah, he's just, he's just the best. And he's the funniest. And he is not rehearsed. And he's just, does it matter in New Hampshire? Are there enough boat, free electrons spinning around in New Hampshire that he can actually win? In the, in the flinty people of New Hampshire. Uh, I don't know if he can win, but I think he can show well. He sort of willed himself into that position to be able to do that with the sheer force of his ability to talk, right? And it is, it's real. Um, and I enjoy watching him. I actually think he uh, he sort of led the debate at times last night in that he would make attacks and then everyone would pile on. I will, I will pat myself on the back a little bit because I said yesterday to Guy Benson that I think he might go after Vivek because... A, Vivek has had momentum going into last night. And B, I think Chris Christie is annoyed by the type of candidate that Vivek Ramaswamy is. Vi and he loves it's Vivek, it's by the way. It rhymes with cake. It's Vivek. I got trained by the Vivekian people. It's Vivek, rhymes with cake. But I can't believe you're cavorting with the rich man north of Richmond. And if you see I, that rich man north of Richmond, well, you, you've just got to get away from him because there's a song about Guy Benson. The ballad of Guy Benson is out there right now. Mary I'm Catherine, just going to learn to play the banjo up. so that I can follow him around. <laughs> Rich man north of Richmond, Guy Benson, and Mary Catherine Ham. Go to the Getting Hammered podcast. I cannot wait to listen to it.